don't build them like that anymore. They certainly don't. Do you know, great uncle Albert used to have a car like that. He entered it in the 1912 Rotherham to Paris rally. Did he win? No. He got there first, but he was disqualified. Why? He took the train. That's strange. They should be expecting us. Try it again. Long press. Ah, good morning, sir. Paul and Barry Chuckle, mobile tuners at your service. I believe you're expecting us. About time, too. You'll have to come round the back. The front door's sticking. Probably a bit of damp worm. Damp worm? Oh, you've noticed then. I'd get it seen to if I was you. I'll give you damp worm. You can't. It's not contagious. Are you two going to stand there all day talking rubbish? Come round the back and I'll let you in. Feet. That's right. Wipe them. I hope I'm not going to have any trouble with you two. Do you know anything about pianos? One of our relatives used to play for Pavarotti. That's right. Centre forward. They won the Italian League that year. In that case, you better come in. It's in the back room. Where is it, then? Here. Oh, so it is. And be very careful with it. This is a baby grand. If this is the baby, I'd hate to see the mother. What exactly seems to be the trouble? I'm a professional player, and I've got perfect pitch. It's always best to play on a perfect pitch. The ball doesn't bobble about so much. According to Pavarotti... I've got a perfect ear, and this piano just doesn't sound right. What's wrong with it? It sounds a bit high. And you want us to lower it for you? That's what you're here for. After all, you are piano tuners, aren't you? We are. You leave it to us. We'll sort it out for you. Right. I've just got something to sort out in the garage. I'm taking part in the veteran car run this afternoon. Ah, yeah? Yes. I'll leave it to you, then. Uh, let yourselves out when you're finished. Hmm. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I do. I'll get a hammer. Oh, finished already? Yes, we've done as you asked. We lowered it all round. Excellent. Send me the bill. We will. And good luck in the race this afternoon. It's not a race, it's a run. Oh, well, in that case, take it easy. You don't want to tire yourself out. Oh, you two. Did I hear you say that you were mobile tuners? That's right. Oh, good. Well, listen, pop round here. I've got a wee job for you to do. Oh. The piano's inside, is it? A piano? The piano you want tuning. Oh, no, listen, there must be some mistake. No, it's the car I want you to tune. The car? Normally, my husband would do it himself. Only he's developed a f*** with his back. Oh, say no more. Paul has the same problem. That's right. He can't get it out of bed in the morning. You see, there seems to be some sort of mistake. Uh, we're piano tuners. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Mind you, I do know a thing or two about engines. <gasps> yes, we do. We do? Well, I do. He's a bit of an apprentice. Thanks. What do you want it tuning for, anyway? Well... Every year, you see, we enter the London to Brighton Veteran Car Run. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be doing it this year because of, uh, well, because of my husband's hobby. But I thought I'd have the car tuned anyway, for old times' sake. Oh. Sorry to hear about your husband's bad back. I suppose that means you won't be doing the car run. No. It's just as well. The slacking six is in good form this year. You'd have no chance of that old relic of yours. Oi, is that your heap of junk? Yes. Well, shift it. And while you're about it, shift yourselves. This is a nice, quiet neighbourhood, and we don't want the likes of you shattering the tranquillity. Uh... Oh.
you think we've upset him? No. He's probably just remembered an urgent appointment. Good. He's a very bad-tempered man. He, he isn't. Is. He is. He isn't. He is. Is he? Yes. And what's more, if you lot don't clear off, I'm going to get very angry indeed. In that case, we'll be off. Oh, now, just wait a minute. Are you going to let him speak to you like that? Yes. Oh, and good riddance. I've got enough on my plate with winning in the car on this afternoon without worrying about those two. If my husband was entering, you wouldn't stand a chance. Well, he's not, so there. You are nothing but a big bully. Oh, Tish Poo! He's not a very nice man. He's not. You know, it's a pity somebody else couldn't drive in the race for her. That'd show him. Hey, I've had an idea. Oh, no. It's a pity somebody else couldn't drive in the race for her. That'd show him. I just said that. That goes to show you, doesn't it? Great minds think alike. Right, I'll tell her we'll do it. Us? We can't drive it. Of course we can. Not again. Oh, well, that's settled, then. <laughs> what is? We're going to ride in the race, in the Shufflewick special. Oh, dear, I thought we might be. <gasps> oh, I'm delighted. Now, listen, come away inside and we'll get some proper driving clothes for you to be kitted out in. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with the clothes we're wearing? You can't drive in a race in these clothes. You've got to have the, the overalls with all the adverts on, the crash helmet and the flame-proof underwear, like Damon Hill. I suppose he's all right. Come on, let's go and get changed. Hey. I've always fancied myself as a Grand Prix driver. <laughs> this is not quite what I had in mind. I think you both look wonderful. Very dashing. That's us. Always dashing somewhere. What's this? These charming young men have volunteered to drive my car in the race. Have they now? These two? I bet they won't even find their way to the start. Of course we will. We'll follow you. Oh, no, you won't. This is no good, and it's not getting us anywhere. What do you suggest? Hey, steady, Barry. Remember what Grandma Chuckle used to say? Never trust a man with an eye each side of his nose. Look, we'll never get the car started like this. We ought to work together. You help me with mine, and I'll help you with yours. Now, what do you say? We, we agree. agree. Good. Right, you come round here and help me with mine. Hang on. Why can't you come round here and help us with ours? Because of the wall. Of course, silly me. Silly us. Silly you. Hey! Be careful with that engine. It's worth a lot of money. You've got to know what you're doing. Know what we're doing? Me? Of course I know what we're doing. Do we? Yes. You're forgetting Uncle Colin, Chuckle. Am I? Is he? Yes. The best mechanic that ever changed a spark plug. And a brilliant driver. Barry, get me the toolbox. Really? What did he drive? Rolls. Oh. He drove a bread van. Yeah, it was full of rolls, but that's beside the point. Now then, pass me a hammer. Hammer? Oh, silly me, my mistake. Make it a mallet. <coughs> get out of it. I'll do the mechanising. You do what I say when I say it. Now you, get in there and pump the accelerator. Three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. That's three, Barry. And you! Turn the handle. I'm going to tickle my carburetor. And no slacking. Pump. Faster. Get out of that car. Come on, out. Get you. Get out of there. Come on, now. Get out. What about us? What about you? You said you'd help us get ours going. Then we could follow you to the start. Remember the words of Granny Chuckle. 
never trust a man with eyes on each side of his nose. <laughs> Now what? I'm afraid that's it. What can we do without a car? Come on. Baby, my brave and bonny land. I'll see you at the start. I wonder where he is. I didn't know we had a puncture. What are you doing? Making sure you two don't follow me any further. Just as we were getting on so well together as well. Two can play at that game. Yeah, but there's three of us. Three can play at that game. Come on, Manny. What do you think you're doing? You started it. I did not. You did by following me. Now, why are you following me? We don't know the way to the start. We thought you wouldn't mind if we followed. Only we've never done this before, you see, and we're not very good at map reading. Talking of maps, I don't want you to follow me. I don't care if you can't find your way to the start. And if you can't read maps, then you won't be needing this. I wouldn't have done that if I was you. Oh, wouldn't you? No, because it's your map. I picked it up by mistake back at the house. This is our map. Oh dear, oh dear. He doesn't look too happy, and he's still following us. Don't worry, Barry. I'll shake him off at the next crossroads. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You could be a bit upset now, Barry. Right, now you're really for it. I think we'd better be going, Barry. What are we going to do now? We'll head straight to the finish till we're shaking him off. What about the race? We'll miss the start. We'll go straight to the finish. There'll be no problem. He'll not follow us that way. Where is the finish, anyway? Brighton. But you better check the map to be on the safe side.
He stopped. I think he's stuck. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> My best hat. <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel good when you help somebody out? It does. Do you think he's okay back there? Yes. It'll be fine once we get him to the finish. Where did you say it was? Brighton. Is that new Brighton or old Brighton? I'm not sure. Toss for it. New Brighton it is then. Right. <laughs> I've been worried sick about you. I'll tell you where we've been. 200 miles away, that's where we've been. Well, we didn't know which Brighton it was. Don't you well me. I've had the most miserable day of my life. All I want to do now is to go inside to my piano and lose myself in some nice, calming music. Good night. <laughs> At least the piano's all fixed for you. Yes, load all round, just like you asked. I think I need a smaller stool, though. 